All right, guys, what is up? It is Gnomes. I'm here in a game between Shovel Knight and the Mecha. As you see, the game is paused. Um, that's because this game was given to me by Shovel Knight. I was not able to record it myself. So Shovel Knight will be playing. I have not seen it yet, so I'll be watching it um, in real time with you guys, so to say. Um, what is nice is because it is a recording, I'll be able to pause it when I want to. So maybe if I want to talk about a few plays for a long amount of time, I can pause it. So that's cool. Um, a negative being, though, that I won't be able to... Um, you know, click on the runes that I might want to click on to show you guys something. So that's going to have to come with them. Um, as well as if I forget a, a name or whatever, I won't be able to check it, right? And I, you know me, I always forget names. But um, so this is their tournament game. We'll see how it goes. Um, I put the Poxnora um, website up on the left so I can check the... So I have the rune checklist up at the very least. So I can click on those things. Um, so that should help a little bit. Anyway, let's get the game going. Okay. All right, so... Uh, Shovel Knight will be first turn, and yeah, he has, has to choose here. I would choose not the Mountain Garu just because it has Berserker, so it can't store any AP. Um, I mean, it can still get to the every font that it needs to within the time, but generally, no, not there. Yeah, there. Exactly. You always want to deploy on that top side when you're playing um, on this font or on this map because you always want to go... Uh, after that to your top side right so you don't want to deploy on that inner corner anyway we do have the is this going a little bit quick is it just me i feel like the recording is a bit quick hold up i don't know how i even check this that's volume volume doesn't matter wait hold up playback speed there should be a playback speed here. Yeah, speed, normal. All right, let's see if... Either I was tripping. Oh, I guess it's just normally at speed. Weird. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Vesha, or sorry, Ranger. Good with dodge. Let's see, I'm going to go check out the... The Bone Guard, whatever it's called. Forsaken Waste. That is the... What's it called? Bone Crusher? Bone Guard Infantry? Mercenary? Can't actually find it in the. Oh. I will click on it later anyway. Um, but he goes top, and then he so he goes second deploy Mountain Garu. He his champions to me. Um, yeah, it's interesting because, yeah, there you have the Oaken Defender. Not horrible. Can stay in the font very long. The Crossbone will probably go top. Oh, that's why you don't see it because it's not in the release set. It's in one of the next sets. Ah, that's why. It's in the Savage Tundra set. So Crossbone has, yeah, he has Paralytic Strike. And rabid, that's what he has. I was wondering when I saw that. I thought I was like, wait, he doesn't have two dots, does he? That'd be insane. No, it's paralytic strike. Um, I wonder. I'm guessing he plays in soul cage, right? If he has paralytic strike to get that paralyze off. Anyway, yeah, the crossbone is actually from the Savage Tundra root set. All right, let's see what he tries now. I'm guessing the crossbow will go top, right? Exactly. Crossbow goes top. We do have the uh, Broken Bones mid. The broken Bones can kind of tank because he's kind of just meant to die anyway. And uh, we don't have any, any AoE really here. We have Grimlock's Bane, as I see, so that's good. So he, might, he can kind of deal with the gr crossbones a bit more easily. But you have to think, like, Grimlock's Bane is 30, or no, it's 40 Nora. And that champion is 33. So if you use one Grimlick's Bane on the cro on the uh, Broken Bones, you're already kind of gaining value, like you're winning. Um, he needs like AoE and champions more so. I believe the crossbow, yeah, it looks like it also has precision, so it'll get through the dodge. Who wins this late game, I wonder? Whose champions are better? Generally, the games will be quite slow, just because um, you don't have the burst as you as you might in like actual ranked games. All right, there's a sprite with stun and buffer. It looks like not a bad champion. I wouldn't go in here though. 
I don't think you need to play aggressively. Um, I would maybe move my Mountain Garu just out of range of the crossbones, but like threaten bottom maybe. Because remember, we have to. What's really cool, exactly. That's an idea too. Just to move all the way up. Not a whole idea. He has to be afraid of the deploy though. But what we have to remember is that um, the factions, when they only have release set, they're more and more so built off of just their themes, right? KF was meant to be extremely quick. Uh, for second waste was meant to just keep you know deploying champions. Um, let's see, SP was meant to keep, keep deploying. UD was meant for damage, right? And nowadays, because you have so many runes and so many battle groups, that you can kind of um, change the the theme of your of what you're playing on how you want to, right? Because there can be a slow battle group or a quick battle group in almost every faction. If I just go off of um, SP, for example, well, a very fi uh, quick theme would be um, he's in double tap range here. I don't know if I like that. Why would he move there? What's the point? He's in double tap range from the broken bones and in exactly what was this idea? Why would he move there? That just seems confusing. Like, at least move out of double tap from the broken bones, right? He just gets decimated. He's at 16 health left. Just for fun. He could have just stayed back. He moved up. I'm not sure if that was a misclick or not. But, um, yeah, so you have to be very, like, into the idea of what your fashion is doing, right? Just because that's what you have to kind of rely on. You can't rely on... Uh, every just you know changing your spells and your battle group uh, champions like in SP you can play electric and that's extremely aggressive or you can play MOGA which are quite passive or you know uh, sh um, was it uh, slags which are quite passive right or you can um, in let's say UD if you want to play a slower deck there's not too many slow decks in UD but if you want to play aggressive you play minotaurs right or if you want to play mid game you can play minotaurs um, if you want to play something a bit more slow in UD, you could play, for example, either the Highlander. Highlander uh, meta UD is actually pretty good late. And um, so is Goblins are okay late. Spiders can be okay late. So, like, you can still mix and match, right, to have different types of battle groups in the in the factions. But when when the game just first came out, you don't actually have that. Anyway, so I don't know why he moved in with that Mountain Garu. It looks like game to me, just off of that move. Uh, he moved in, took the damage for no reason, and then... Is he going to Vortex his own unit? No. It looks like he wants to Vortex his own unit. He kept hovering over it. <laughs> but at this point, he's already lost, right? Because he just wasted a 60-something Nora champion. And if you're playing against Forsaken Waste, you have to play, like with one big swing turn. You can't have these like long drawn out battles because they're forsaken waste. I mean, it might be a bit different because we have 30, 30 runes to pick from, but. Garu's dead. The no and not even that the, Mon the Norglobe won't even go to him is a thing. The Norglobe will go over to the Mecha as well. All right, there's the power attack. The Broken Bones can just chill there. I'm guessing he'll get the Fami or the Norglobe maybe. You can probably deploy if he gets an Oral Globe. Like, get the Oral Globe, deploy, move up your Bladed Corpse, exactly. And I can deploy. It'll be 5 versus 3. And these champions from Shovel aren't very scary. And it was all off of the play of moving the Garu forward for no reason. Yeah. So, we do have Broken Bones. I have to think about this because, um, like I said, I might be playing against the Mecha as well. So, I mean, I have Bad Blood. So, that will help me against uh, single race things like Skeletons, maybe. So if he ever gets two out. Do I have any AoE in my battle group? No, I have slags. All right, so his turn to deploy. It looks like he's going to go with Elven Mage. He should think about this longer. I think he clicked this too quickly. When you're playing, you have to think, okay, he's going to, oh, that's not a buffer. That's a, uh, exactly, it's a, yeah, now he's just kind of messing up. There's detection there, isn't there? Doesn't the crossbow have detection? No, okay. But yeah, because like his first move to move the Garu forward was maybe just a misplay, but now he's just uh, being reckless. I think you should think about your deploy here a bit longer. You have all the so much time in your turn, right? And even if you still in the end decide for the Elven Mage, why would you not, you know, take at least ten seconds to think why you might want to champ, why might why you might not, all that. I think the reason he played the mage is because of the um, AoE, because it has the aura and he wants to aura down the skeletons. That's my guess. Which is an okay play, I guess. Like it's not bad.
So I think in the end, that would have still been the best champion, other than maybe the uh, Centaur. If the Centaur has Massive Leap, that could have also been an idea. But other than the Centaur, it was probably the best play. But just like, yeah, look at this. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six versus four. Look how cheap these champions are. Ooh, moves in. Pummel? Yeah, the, the he can't see the fairy right now, so that's why he's... Again, I think we have precision here, so he gets around the dodge. All right, counterattack melee going to go off. Doing five damage only. Exactly, precision goes right through the ranger. So a range, the, that ranger is completely countered. I mean, he's at, already at half health only. Broken Bone's going to move up. Power attack. 12 damage. He's in the font still with the, uh, the bladed. But yeah, um, so I think the game plan, we can just pause it for a sec. Hold up. We'll just pause for a sec. Actually, let me pause on, a, on an area where we see all the champions. Move up a little bit, please. Move up. All right, it's his turn. All right, so um, here we see the map. We kind of see uh, what's, what everybody has. He has 101 Nora, and he has two Grimlix Banes, and a Devolve, a Brambles, and a thing. I think his he doesn't have healing other than the fairy or sorry the um divine favor. So maybe like to bring it back, I don't think he can because I think the mecha is too good to allow this to come back to a game where he'll lose. Um, but if he ever had a chance and like the mecha were to mess up, I think his idea should be to move that fairy to that bottom font or maybe even stun here. Maybe you need the stun. Yeah, maybe he moves up and stuns that zombie, double taps. Yeah, if he can kill that zombie there, the one that's next to the tree, maybe he can move in with Sprite, stun, then double tap with that tree, and then have the uh, the ranger even move in and attack once. He's at 12 AP, so he should be able to get over there. And then the, fair, or the, um, the wizard attacks once, and that should be a kill. And then after the kill, get the Nora Globe and r run the Ranger away so he doesn't die too easily. And even if he does die, you get the Nora Globe, right? Other than that, maybe just keep deploying. If he has the kill with the stun, he should just keep deploying after that, I think. You want at least five champions on the board. So if he gets this kill, it'll be one, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three, four, five, I guess. If he deploys and gets the kill, but his Ranger will be low. But if, let's say, the Mecha messes up and tries to focus the... Uh, the tree he's doing okay thing is that's bad is I believe stun does st uh, uh, de-stealth you so if he wants to stun oh no wait he's a ranged champion and he can stun from ranged so yeah he could stun from there run away double tap double tap or double tap one tap one tap get the kill get the normal globe deploy put the ranger in a safe place maybe deploy the fairy the fairy is pretty strong or sorry the uh, divine favor or like I said the leap the massive leap on the um the the centaur here this one that'll be my play let's see what he does like i said he has stun his champions don't have much damage though because of the frightened right so he has to really check i think that he doesn't he stopped deploying so quickly dude all right wait okay i'm nah, i don't like that either wait why can't he oh does he have this kill that's fine too then if he has the kill, he should be calculating it, obviously. But if he has this kill, then that's also a good play, because then he can still use the stun. No, he doesn't, because he's only at 5 damage. How much health does that bladed corpse have left? See, he's... Alright, so a few misplays here, or... Uh, I mean, m not misplays, I'm going to say, but more so a wrong way to play. If you're playing Pox Nora, it's a bit like chess, right? I always call Pox Nora chess on steroids. And with that, you have to think your turns through. Look, he has a minute and two seconds left. And he and did you see my game? When I, I was thinking my games through constantly and my turns and my ideas, right? See, he now didn't get this kill. He has, a, he has like 45 seconds left and he's ending his turn. First, always think your turn through. He, he, if he didn't have this kill, he should never have gone for the idea behind the kill. He should have gone for the kill on the zombie or the, the thing he just stunned. I was okay now with the, the take root, just because it allowed him to attack the uh, bladed corpse. But, um, 
I'm not like if he could have gotten the kill on the zombie instead without having to use the take root, I think that would have been the best play. So yeah, again, this is just such a big thing. Take your time. Take your time. Think your turns through. Don't click so quickly. That's the really the biggest, biggest thing I can give to a new player. Everybody always says, oh, the biggest thing you have to do is just play a lot. No, that's not even it. Just take your time with your turns. Think them through. Think about what the enemy could have, what your play should be. Calculate the turns before you click. So much could have been prevented here if he had done that. Like, just like... Think why you should do something and why it's a bad idea or why it's a good idea, right? Like, he moved his Garu in into double tap range for no reason. He uh, he didn't kill the Bladed Corpse because he didn't calculate it before he did the play. All right, so that Fairy should be dead. I mean, he's still, he was so close. Man, if he had just killed that Bladed Corpse, stunned, ran away... And then gotten the Norglobe on the Bladed Corpse, he'd be doing okay. Also, you need it, he needs it not deploy so quickly. Like, that's also a big thing. Oh, he can get that Norglobe, though. No, well, he could, but then he's engaged, so that's not a good idea. Why is he not attacking that the, uh, the, the Crusher? Does that Skull Crusher have something that I don't know about? Or Bone Crusher? Let's check. Is there something that I'm forgetting is the reason he's not attacking it? Stun, execute, power attack, zombie apocalypse. 42 health. It has 42 base health. You can easily kill it. 42 base health on that thing. Oh, no. Don't do this. Please don't do this. <laughs> I was like, don't go in to get the Nora Globe and just kill your 75 Nora Champion. Because then they'll just get the Nora Globe back, right? Right, why did he deploy that champion? Think about it. Let's think. Let's think. Why would he deploy? Is there something he needs to shatter? What's that thing called? Uh, Elven Specialist or something? Blade Master. So Reflexes, Strike, Melee Specialist, Shatter. So the only reason I would see you play this... I mean, Reflexes is okay because there's a lot of melee here. That could be a reason. But I, again... I wonder what he plays on that um, centaur. Because, like I said, if he plays... So the interceptor, let's see. I like the interceptor here. You can play Blitz, Seismic Leap. 62 Nora. Man, that range is just like, what am I going to do now? He needs healing. I wouldn't move him up, though, because he's just going to get attacked. Wait, is he in range? Five, six, seven? No, he's at eight, so one, two, three. No, calculate. Also, he didn't click G. I think he's in range. Isn't he in range? One, two, three, four, five. I, either he's just about not in range or he's just about in range. I'm not positive. Yeah, he gets both normal globes. He just deploys now, right? But I think the elf might be in range from the uh, the broken bone, or sorry, the bone crossbone. This this champion right here. Oh, okay, Zulos for the kill. There you go. I mean, the Oaken Defender is a tank right now. That's for sure. He's just sitting in the font. Fifty one Nora and like loads of stats. All right, so good thing for Shovel Knight is he should get this Nora globe. Um, the Broken Bones can attack either. doesn't really matter. Ooh, War Banner. Alright, I'm just going to jump on the... F yeah. Look at that damage. Boom, 8 plus 12 plus a hit. Is he dead? See, look at that, though. It, it took him up until... So it took 45 seconds to turn. Like, we're at 40 seconds left here. Let's go back a little bit. Can we do this? When does he start this play? Hold up. The turn starts... Here. All right, so... He has, right now, a mi two minutes, right? He plays the Zulos right away, because that's no matter what a good play to get this kill. I understand that. I, I understand getting the Zulos right away. He gets the Zulos out. Gets this kill. 
Oh, look, he's still thinking, though. Look at Mecha thinking right now. See? He's not just deploying. He's, he's taking at least 10 seconds already to think. D do I want to deploy the Zulos? I get this kill. What else does it do? Right? So he's thinking, should I? The Zulos, no matter what I would see, is, is a good play to get this kill. But also, what else does it do? Right? Can Or also, if I deploy the Zulos, do I have enough damage to kill this afterwards? Or do I have another play afterwards? Or do, do I just get this kill? Right? All right, so 30 seconds now. All right, so it took him 25 seconds to just deploy, right? You got the Norgulbs and deployed. Double taps here. And now, so after the double tap at 130, let's see how long it takes for him to go for this kill. How long does it take for him to go for this kill, right? See this? He's not doing anything. This is how you need to play, guys. Can't stress this. 10 seconds. He's still just thinking. He's not doing anything right now. He has tons of time. He moves up on him. He's like thinking. Because he's thinking a few different things. He's All right, look. So up until now, he was thinking for a, a good 20 seconds at least. He was thinking, what do I want to go for first of all? That's what was his first idea. Who do I go for? Do I go for the tank or do I go for this, uh, this elf? Right? And he's decided, you know what? I decide... I'm gonna send one one of my bone guys here because I don't need the damage, and I, or I have the damage here and the AP to get over to kill this thing. And he's thinking, all right, he's counting out. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have an attack with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I have perfect range with both of these. One, two, three, four, five, and I have perfect range for my uh, crossbow. So all three of these can attack once. Now that I see that I have the AP to be able to attack all these champions once, all right, let's go calculate. So this champion has zero defense. Good. How much damage do I have? Okay, I have 10 damage. Here, how much damage do I have? Oh, I have 7 damage, plus disease is 3. Oh, but here's also disease, but they don't overlap, right? So, or this might be uh, not disease, but the uh, flanking as well. I'm not sure. So, oh, with war banner, I have 3 more. So this is 3 more damage. So he should have played the war banner before he attacked with the, cross, uh, with the bone mauler, though, or bone crusher. So that's a misplay. But yeah, so he says, okay, I'm in range for this attack, in range for this attack, in range for this attack. Now that I see that I have the range, or with the AP, now do I have the damage? Okay, I have this much damage, this much damage, this much damage, plus this AP, or plus this dot, and maybe this spell. Is it worth the spell? So once you think of it, oh, I have the AP and the damage to just barely get a kill, but I need a spell. Is it worth a spell? Or do I let it die from a dot? Well, I don't want him to get the Nora Globe too easily, so yes it is, right? All right, so he plays the War Banner, moves up, and yeah, it's disease though. Sadly, it's disease, a disease a rabbit on him and not um, not flanking, or else he would have this kill easily. But I think he's still dead. Yeah, 4 HP left and 3 health. So he's actually 1 off. He's 1 off right now. Yeah, he's 1 off. That actually really sucks. He will die to the dot the turn after. Yeah, he survives with one HP. So there you go. I mean, he, he calculated it, but he's yeah. He gets the Norglob now. There's a heal. He was a lot of health. That's a lot of health healing. Um, does allow the Elven Mage. Elven Mage should have made. I mean, he might run away here, right? You don't attack. Either you were going to uh, use the aura and then teleport away, or. Yeah, you don't attack now ever, though. You just run away, I think. Oaken Defender here, still. All right, now he's finally going for the um, Bone Crusher. He also has Pummel with the, El uh, the Elder Garu. 13 damage only, though. Wait. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, what? So he doesn't want to go for the broken bones. He wants because he I mean he has the AoE with the um with the elf though. And he didn't pummel here for interestingly. Why didn't he pummel? For I don't get why he didn't pummel. He could have. Hmm. I would have in this play, I would have I'm fine with the attack. I'm okay with attacking the um Yeti instead of the uh, broken bones, but he could have gone in. Yeah, what he could have done here actually is gone in with the Garu, attacked the broken bones, so he splits, 
and then use the Frost Nova for the kill, right? And that would have done damage to him as well. Because he, he could have... Oh, dude, he could have killed both this turn. Dude, holy cow, the amount of times I'm getting so mad. So he has Grimlix Bane. So what he could have done this turn is moved in with the Garu, attack the, uh, the Broken Bones once, have this tree attack this Broken Bones once, use a Grimlix Bane, all Broken Bones die, and then there's only uh, one, two, three, four champions left versus one, two, three, four, five, if he had done that play. Because he would have killed all the Broken Bones because of the Grimlix Bane. Even though he wouldn't have been able to deploy, right? So I guess not deploying there would have been an idea. Because then he doesn't deploy, but he gets both both kills. I mean, he can still do it now, maybe? We're probably going to see a Moby here. Mobilization. Plus a Glorious Drain to get both kills now. So we're going to see two champions die this turn, if not three. Is my guess. With a... Uh... Yeah, exactly. The Elf will die. We'll see a Glorious Drain. Yeah, look at this. This is what's going to happen. This is my guess, at least. My prediction. And this is when you're watching somebody play, this is what you should predict. Or how you should predict. Alright, so he moved up like this, right? And he's not going to attack. So I'm guessing Moby into Zulo's Essence Draining. He has the Moby, so he attacks him once. He double taps, he double taps. And they both double tap. So this champion dies, this champion dies, this champion dies. It's either a triple kill or a double kill on this champion and this champion. We'll see. Let's see. Does he Moby? It all depends on the Moby. Does he have it? Yeah, there's the Moby. He misplayed the Moby, though, because he should have attacked first. Oh, no, I guess because of that. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with, not Moby, with doing it that way, then. All right, so there's the Moby. He should have... Yeah, I know what he should have done, because he, he wasted two AP on the Broken Bones. He could have moved him up, too, right? But yeah, there's the Essence Drain. The Moby into Essence Drain. Tap once. Tap once. He's dead. Like I said. Exactly like I said. And there's the Surrender. Alright. There's the GG. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's game. Just uh, too many too many times. Oops. Alright, let's have this recording up here. Alright. Uh, so that was the game. Um... Shovel Knight moved in with, with his uh, Garu really quickly for no reason. And then after that, he still had the chance like two or three times to bring it back. Where he could have killed the both Broken Bones, for example. Or he could have... I mean, at that point, I think he was already losing. Or he with the stun to kill a champion, right? Instead, he barely didn't kill the Bladed Corpse. So, uh, was a close game. I, I would have liked to have seen uh, Shovel Knight just take more time for his turns. But GG...